Natasha here. Today I'm talking to you about brassicas. Now brassicas refer to a group of vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, Brussels sprouts, turnips. They're all cool weather vegetables to grow in your garden. They take around two to three months and you can grow them from autumn to early spring. Now, because they do take two to three months, I'm a massive advocate for growing and putting my brassica seedlings in in early autumn. The reason I do that is because in early autumn, the weather has cooled a little bit, but there's also still some warmth in the soil. And that warmth in the soil is really going to help establish your brassicas and get that first lot of growth really going so that you are harvesting your brassicas earlier in the season. If you leave your planting until you know, late autumn, early winter, you're gonna find that growth is gonna take a little bit longer to establish. And you might not be picking your, your brassicas until you know, the end of winter or even the start of spring. So if you start in early autumn, you're gonna be eating probably by the end of autumn, early winter, and also gives you time to plant a few successive crops of your brassicas as well, which is a good thing, more harvest. So soil. Now I love winging it in the garden, but soil's not something that I generally wing it with when it comes to growing my veg. It's really good to know what your vegetables need before you plant them because it can be the difference between an okay crop and a really good crop. Now brassicas love a really rich soil. They are heavy feeders and because they take two to three months to grow, they're gonna need soil that's gonna be able to sustain them for that period of time. So you wanna make sure that you're adding in some compost, some manure, some blood and bones, some worm casting, anything that's going to be rich in organic matter and that's gonna give them the sustenance that they need. And really digging over your soil before you plant into the soil is really important because not only does it help incorporate all that organic matter into the soil, it helps to aerate the soil, breaking up any clumps, any compaction, helping with the soil structure and helping with microbial activity as well. So you want to plant your brassica seedlings about 60 centimetres apart. That should probably at least 60 centimetres apart. That's going to give them enough room to grow. And also I am a massive fan of using plastic bottles like this when my seedlings are very young to protect them from uh, pests okay but not only does it protect them from pests it also helps to trap in warmth which is as, as i said before going to help your um, brassicas get going and grow a little bit faster so ongoing maintenance of your brassicas as they're growing please don't leave them all on their own come down and check on them see how they're going um, if you are finding that some of the leaves are looking a little bit diseased, brown, touching on the ground, snap them off. That's using unnecessary energy for the plant. So snap any old leaves that, are, um, that don't look very nice. Also, you want to mulch. Mulching is really good because it helps to uh, control the soil temperature. It keeps the soil a little bit warmer. The worms love it, but it also helps to keep the weeds down as well. I use pea straw, and again, after you've finished harvesting, you dig it back into the soil so it keeps on giving. Now pests. I get asked this question so much. How do I get rid of cabbage moth? I've got caterpillars eating all my brassicas. And the truth is, is there is a few different ways to do it, but whatever you're going to do does require constant work. There's no silver bullet when it comes to managing pests in the garden. Now, there are numerous home remedies that you can uh, make up yourself to spray. You can buy stuff from uh, the hardware store, from nurseries. I know neem oil is a great product to use that's natural, but the reality is, is you have to do it more than once. There's a whole life cycle going on uh, with pests in your garden. And if you spray it once, you're only disrupting, you know, one layer of that life cycle. So you need to keep doing it in order to affect the whole lifestyle and thereby control your pests. 
I will do a video on this whole topic another time but um, just know that if you're going to go down that route you really do need to do it more than once. Companion planting is another good thing that helps to manage pests in your gardens. For example, cabbage moss hate dill. They hate the smell of it. So planting dill around your brassicas might be a really good idea for you. But again, companion planting is a, another topic and I'll hopefully do another video on that as well. For me, I literally come down every day or every other day and I will hand pick them off. I know that sounds tedious, but I actually quite enjoy it. And I know my um, tooks really love um, me throwing them over the fence as well. And you know, honestly, just using that manual method alone, that works for me. I do get a few, you know, eaten out leaves, but for the most part, my actual harvest, my actual broccoli and that is pretty good. So that sort of works for me. Anyway, I hope those tips on brassicas have been helpful to you. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out um, in the comments uh, and if you have any suggestions or any great ideas let me know that too I would love for you to subscribe to my channel uh, like this post share this post share the love um, I really enjoy doing this um, and I'd really love to hear your input have an awesome day thanks see ya